First things first, if you guys um, you want to introduce yourselves um, for our audience in the States and just tell us a bit about your characters. Yeah. My name is Fadi Al Said and I play the character of Ram Singh from Cohill. And I am Greg Austin and I play Charlie Smith, who, well, we'll find out soon. <laughs> Okay, so uh, first thing, what was it like joining a show that is both kind of its own thing and part of the Doctor Who universe as well? It was weird because, well, good, because we got to experience best of both worlds. Yeah. Um, and it's also just so nice to be a part of the Doctor Who universe, especially because just the love and support that they provide is just beautiful. Like, we're just so overwhelmed with it, so thank you, guys. Yeah, it, it means a lot to have that basis of support from the Doctor Who fan base. Um, yeah. We've been blessed with this show, I think, because yeah. uh, even even outside of the Doctor Who fan base, we've been built up our own little class fan base as yeah. well. They haven't yeah. watched Doctor Who. Yeah. That's, that's a blessing as well. Yeah. Um, but we're oh, it's 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 been a wonderful show to be a part of. Were you fans of Doctor Who before? Funny enough, for me, I'm a big old geek. I'm, <laughs> Yeah, Nothing I'm, wrong with that? Exactly, that's a, I caught, that's, a, that's a compliment to myself. Uh, yeah. I was a big gamer, into anime, never really watched Doctor Who. Just because my, I, I think it's because my friend group never into Doctor Who, so I just never really had an in. But having now done the show and having researched it, obviously, um, I, I, I'd say for, say for both of us that yeah. we're now both Doctor Who fans. Yeah, and I completely appreciate and understand why Doctor Who fans are crazy about Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think an American audience is going to make of it? Do you think they're going to, is there anything they're not going to understand? Maybe that's no. very, very British? I actually think, it's, because Patrick Ness is obviously American, um, I think it's actually got quite an American feel to it, yeah. but whilst retaining the bits of the British that the Americans seem to love. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking they're going to really like it. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, I have huge faith that the Americans will really understand it and appreciate it very much. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope it's going to do good things for you. Yeah, I'm going to go and get uh, We love the Americans. We absolutely love them. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favourite episode? Six. Yeah. Six, loved it. Best episode, so much fun to film. Like All of the cast were just in one room trapped for two weeks. Um, so it was just like a big playground, really. We just yeah. had so much fun and just bouncing off each other and messing about, but still getting work done. Um, it was a real challenge for us as actors. To, because there wasn't much um, external stuff. There wasn't much CGI. There wasn't much for us to fall back on. We just had to kind of carry the episodes. And, I mean, hopefully we did it justice. Uh, I think you did. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed that. No, I did really enjoy that episode. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people do. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, it was a real fun one to film. What was the toughest? Eight. Yeah, that's it, but yeah. yeah. The final I couldn't I mean I'm not gonna spoil anything. No spoilers. But the final week of filming was all on the final scene. Which the final scene was like twenty pages long. Uh, so that was a really mental week. Um, really, a lot going on, lots of effects, lots of emotional stuff that we had to nail. Um, it's a really epic ending though, and I think it paid off. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> um, okay, so Greg, one for you. Is it hard to act like you don't get all of the pop culture references? I don't think he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially what I was going to say. I'm, I'm very much like Charlie in the sense that I'm very socially awkward. It's all an act. I, I pretend day, to be cool. Be <laughs> I really don't. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's, I just drew from that side of it, kind of being socially inept and not quite getting things. That is just Charlie. That is just him. So um, yeah, I wouldn't say it was too much of a stretch for me. <laughs> and for you, Ram has a pretty tough, tough ride the whole way through the season. Pretty much, yeah. Um, how did you kind of get to those really emotional places yeah. that you needed to be in? Um, I mean, I feel like my upbringing really helps me in my acting because I can sort of relate to emotions that I've felt in my real life and express them into acting. So I feel like, you know, what I've been through in my life, um, I can, it's easy, well not easy I'd say, but I can really relate to certain emotions that I don't feel like I'm acting certain emotions because I've experienced them in my real life. So I just try to relate them together and just sort of give a performance that I've experienced before. Um, 
Um, so yeah, it was challenging, but a lot of fun. I love doing the emotional stuff. What's the one thing you're really excited for the American fans to see? Oh, last episode. They have to, yeah. Like, Oh, yeah, it's, it's just, so, it's just so epic, to, isn't it? Yeah. It's just so good. It was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I saved it, actually, yeah. when I watched it, because I binged, like, the first six in yeah. a day, and then I kind of I saved the last two so until last so weekend. I, yeah, so I then, really yeah, said yeah, I said them. it burning him. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like, no, I want it to be fresh. I want to go. Yeah. So, yeah. Really enjoyed the fun. I think they'll really enjoy the show. Episode one gets off to a good start. I think they'll love it. But episode eight, there's a few things in there. Doctor Who fans, just class fans in general, are just going to be like, Another one for you, Greg. LGBT representation is a really big thing for a lot of people, and obviously, Charlie's relationship with Matthias. How do you think the fans are going to react to that? Have you had a positive reaction so far? I've had a wonderfully positive, pos positive. I've had a wonderfully positive reaction. Um, it's. I, I was very worried, to say the least, because I'm not gay myself. To portray a gay character truthfully, I, I, I had this fear in my head that people were just going to call me out on it and be like, "That doesn't seem real." That. So I really, I tried my hardest to make it as authentic and as truthful as I could because I think it really, it needed that. It, the LGBTQ plus community deserves that. Yeah. Um, and they've been wonderfully receptive to it. And yeah. I can only thank them. And even though I was just reading them out of tweet, like someone messaged him saying to him, like his relationship with Charlie has really helped him sure you know, come to terms with himself. And it's always good to see characters that you can relate to on screen, you know, Absolutely. because yeah. especially if you're a gay character and you see a gay representation on screen, it just makes you feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's out there rather than feeling like you have to hide away from yourself. Um, so I feel like his character especially has had a huge impact. Yeah. It, means, it means a lot. It really does to me as an actor to hear that. Hopefully you'll get more reaction from fans in the States when the show starts. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, and then three very silly questions to end. Oh, I love First one, questions. what is your favourite show on TV at the moment other than class? Um, on TV at the moment? Well, yeah. Uh, oh, all my shows are off TV now. Oh, uh, okay, alright, favourite show. Big Bang. Okay. I can, I, I, I'm going to say it has to be Breaking Bad. Oh. It's not on yeah, TV. Oh, no, yeah. oh. I he would have said Game of Thrones, but he hasn't watched it, so... Don't tell people that! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, sorry. You know. Yeah, yeah, love. yeah. Okay, Breaking yeah, Bad. Breaking cool. Bad. Oh, oh, I could say Prison Break, because it's come back on now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen Series 5 yet, so... Uh, yeah. 13 okay. Reasons Why is amazing, by the way. So, yeah. Uh, oh. I'm putting it out there. So I've seen a lot of hype about that. Yeah. yeah. Dan doesn't like it very much. <laughs> Okay, is there one show you would love to guest star on? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's a show. It's more of a production company. Okay. <laughs> Marvel. Oh, I really want to get nice. something marvel -y. Oh, I, how can I top that now? <laughs> I want to be a superhero. <laughs> Disney! <laughs> Give me a Disney job. I'll be Disney Prince. Star Wars, Star Wars. Oh, there you oh, go. There you go. I think you've been there. And final question. Do you know what Hogwarts house you're in? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, well, wow. I'm, I'm split. What do you be? He's been told. He's been told. He, you know, he, he be, nothing wrong with that. No. He would be Gryffindor just because he's just really sweethearted and courageous and just the nicest chap. I'd be a split between Slytherin and Gryffindor. Okay. Um, I, I don't know which I'd be. They're kind of two sides of the same coin, in my opinion. I've also been told Hufflepuff. <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff, so there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, but they said his character Charlie and this would be a Hufflepuff. Oh, Charlie, yeah, totally Charlie a Hufflepuff. Yeah, Charlie would be a Hufflepuff. Uh, myself, I think I'm slightly more slither in there. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I gave you cards before at Birmingham, didn't I? So, yeah. We'll get this up on our YouTube channel and um, I'll do a write up about it and get something up, hopefully, this week before it starts on Saturday night. Sweet! Great stuff.